Hello everybody, my name is Sacred Tyrant and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Absolov End of Gods. In the last video we met the big dog we had a surgery incident at the start um, went through a bunch of um, hallways full of Wendigo looking people and we went down a, a tunnel and ended up in the spider's nest from the looks of it this looks like it's going to be fun luckily I don't have arachnophobia but my god there was three of them are you joking Oh, they're just all watching us. Why? Oh, so scary. Spiders, what the hell? Oh, that was absolutely terrifying. Ooh, robot arm. Very nice. If I would have been five seconds late, the demons would have torn you apart. The great Odin spared your life, but left you broken. But that's okay, because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. Remarkable, isn't it? What? No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see here. Speech should be fine. I prepared the tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm. How does it feel? Strange feeling, isn't it? When it's bonding to you. Huh. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> anyway, I have much to prepare. You rest for now. Henrik, look at her. It's Alice. The injuries she suffered and survived. It's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? By my she, my voice. She even sounds like. Yes. Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice. And your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson, the CEO of Borcorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's uh, she's up on the surface, well. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik! Calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. Hand brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Yangrepe. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Yangrepe to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask. We're not taking this lightly. Please. I'll tell you more as you go. Okay. Whew. I was really hoping that this arm would be like... 
I'm losing connection here. Uh, earthquakes are getting far too frequent. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. I was hoping I could use it for like damage. Like, considering he said it's magnetic force, I was hoping I could like punch stuff, but. Is that like meant to be a. I don't really thought that was like a mural or something, and that was like a. a little character. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Ahead of you is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, Jan Graper can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium. <clears throat> that right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. Wait, so it is um Does this do damage? If you collect enough upgrades for Jan Greger, you can activate the weapon inside of <gasps> Yes. Oh my god. And above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jadgraper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Okay, I gotta say this is really cool. I'm really glad I've got Since it. Jan is relying on atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. There is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Right. God, I'm so glad I've actually got something that, like... I know it doesn't fight back exactly just yet, but... It's still really cool to have. Ahead of you, you will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. Right, well, before I do that, I want to go to that other door. And use it on that. Oh god, that is speedy. Was that worth it? I did that for a collectible, are you joking? So assuming the first cell never runs out or something. Oh wait, no. Because I can collect them again. I thought the first cell wouldn't be able to run out. Just because it's got a bit of black on it, but...
Ah, uh, okay, so... It slows down, that's quite nice. Gravy stuck on them. So I'm assuming there's... Eight keys in the game to get. I like how when the rain hits you. Okay, uh, everything oh seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil, the world tree. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absolute controller of the roots of Victor so This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. Spirit. It controlled the Absolob and our systems, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But, Henrik has traveled too much on protected. He almost died from this pool and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will... Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection. Sarah? Shit. Listen. We know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment, the roots spread further into Midgard. So find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please, hurry. Wait, so... I'm gonna have to go to a bunch of different worlds. Go all the way around the world. And collect a bunch of keys. To save the world. That sounds absolutely crazy, but... Who am I to judge? So that means there's going to be different monsters for each area, I'm guessing. So that's just perfect. That's exactly what I want. Enemies that I won't be able to adapt to. Again with the pulsation. That looks like the last key, it looks like an eight. Am I gonna have to go back in spider territory again? It really did look like a brick and moy pole at first, but now that I know it's just a slide. It's not so bad. Oh, I'm in the snow realm. Nice. Message for Dr. Henrik Anderson. Dr. Brian Roberts, Nivelheim Operations Supervisor. Minor progress report on Nivelheim Outpost N502. Construction is moving along according to schedule. Procedures after 
the complete destruction of N-498 are implemented and seems to be working. The building is strictly held to crevices. The amount of noise is held to a minimum, and outposts are working 24-7 to avoid the attention of the natives. However, the morale is very strained after the 48 casualties at N-498. Worst of all are the sounds of the natives. It travels for miles through the infinite night and fog in this dead landscape. It just chills you to the core. The natives. So are we talking about, like, actual humans or monsters, which is what I'm guessing it's going to be. That sounds absolutely massive, whatever that is. Oh my god. Well, if they're big monsters, then it's not so bad. I mean, the bigger the monster, the less scary it is. But then again, if it's the, if it's anything like the size of the dog, that's going to be pretty bad. Liram? Liram. Freezing would be a horrible way to go. Starts with numbing and then fact is you probably wouldn't know even though you died if you froze to death I'm guessing. Because it would just be sudden. They sure are giving me a lot of um, cells.
That should have probably scared me, but I've had worse. I think that's the exit over there where that green glow is. I'm just gonna go for it. Connection, I thought. I can see you on a camera. Ahead of you, in Absolov Research, there's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. There's probably a lot of things to explore in Absolov Research, but don't stay for too long. Don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Please hurry. It's only the idea that there's cracks in the window. Oh god. Oh perfect, he's just patrolling now. Yeah, I'm gonna go the way he went. Well, the way he came from, because I assume it's smart, I think, following him. Never follow the, the enemy. Always go the way they came. Mythology Research, Note 4, with Dr. Henrik Anderson and my lovely wife. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Anderson. The power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. The hammer is powering the entire facility, and it's more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. We've decided to call the power Atrium, after the creator of the hammer. And not only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically. Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. Hmm. 
I suppose that's Vike in there. I'm starting to see the justification for Viking. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a chase. Well, a hiding, hide and seek match with the dog. Mythology research, note five. There are many gods from the myths which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, and his son, Thor, the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Mimir, the keeper of the Well of Wisdom. And... And Loki, the god of mischief. But that one worries me a bit. I don't blame you for getting worried. I was generally waiting for the dolphin to stop running at the door. That was the That would have been bad. So are you the end of gods? Are you the one that's gonna, I guess, kill the gods or something? Interesting pen. I was about to say I'd be just a poor oh, what was that? I'd be disappointed if it was just a painting. <laughs> what oh it's is she not going to comment on the fact that there was a little child that ran past us? So the only thing is I can go to a waste disposal.
I don't want to. I don't really want to take the elevator anyway yet. Not what I've explored everywhere. Oh, so if you mess up three times, it just opens it for you. So I haven't been getting it. I'm just bad at this. Might not require the cold. Who's crying? Who's grunting? Who's doing anything, really? God, that was so close. Family researcher Yang, Node 40. The Absolof containment facility has grown in equal proportions to the discoveries made during the last few months. The various spatial phenomena occurring in the vicinity of the Absolov are astounding, and the materials excavated are just... Uh, they're alien in nature and most likely dangerous. And I keep wondering about Dr. Henrik Anderson's intentions. It's clear he's looking for something. At first I figured it to be a religious reasoning behind his actions. But when I came across a schedule for the facility, I noticed how Anderson has apparently moved his own daughter into one of the advanced care units. He's planning something. I want to find out what. That voice sounded so familiar. I don't know whose voice that was, but it sounded so familiar as something that I've heard before. Might just be me. Was it? Two six two five. Or was it two five two five two six two six two five? What? So I'll probably unlock that door for no reason then. Right. It's just typical, isn't it? Absolute research. Oh my god. I don't say that a lot, but Jesus Christ, that shocked me. I haven't had a proper jump scare yet. But I can't say I was expecting the big dog or just to stand there and look at me. Two six two five, two five, two six. I really want to know what that code was for. I'll probably never find out. For a while at least. Oh, I can't open that. Oh yeah, Do do you have it? Oh, magnificent! Praised be Odin and all of his sons. Oh, you've done well. I almost died, and But I... you didn't. And now you're taking the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. Oh, I have full fun and plans. Yes, but... Now, now, there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is 3425. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. Questions? Where do I even begin?
Oh, god damn it. I always a way to like untype a code that you put in. This clears a lot of things up for us. Thank you for bringing the key back. You're, you're welcome. And thank you for fixing my arm. Yeah. I assume you have no memories of your past, and I bet you're wondering who you are. Well, so am I. But I'm locked out of the facility's main database at the moment, so if we make a quick detour, then... Henrik! Thousands are dying every minute, and you're talking about detours? We need to know, Sarah. I need to know what happened to her. Don't put the girl through any more than she has to, Henrik. Don't make her do uh, this. We, we have to figure this out. The emergency system severed the connection between multiple systems and the base. You need to go to the medical research facility and approve a remote link to grant me access to the information we need. I would do it myself, but... I'm not strong. I'll show you everything you need to know on the way. Well, I think I'll leave that for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. And hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.